Hello everyone. This short video will introduce you to one of Earth's surface wind named prevailing westerlies. So, what is prevailing westerlies? Let's find out. Westerlies are winds in the middle latitudes between 30 and 60 degree latitudes. They tend to blow from high pressure region around the horse latitude to the low pressure region around the polar circle latitude. During its travel, westerlies are deflected to the east due to Coriolis effect. The name westerlies comes from the direction of their origin. While trade winds and polar easterlies blow from east to west, westerlies blow from west to east. Now, let us touch on the behavior of westerlies winds. Westerlies are faster and stronger during winter season and weaken during summer season. This is due to the change in air pressure over poles for both seasons. Near the poles, there is existence of polar vortex, which is a large area of low pressure. Polar vortex strengthens in winter, which lowered the pressure of poles, so the westerlies grow stronger. In summer, polar vortex weakens, which creates higher pressure over the poles, so the westerlies become weak. Next, westerlies tend to move at greater speed in southern hemisphere, compared to in northern hemisphere. When wind move over land, there is directional change in westerlies pattern. This change slowed the wind flow of westerlies. Between the 30 and 60 degree latitudes, southern hemisphere have lesser land masses to slow the wind. The only land masses present are, tip of South America, tip of Africa, Australia, and islands of New Zealand. This area is known as Roaring Forties. Every natural phenomena has its importance and that includes westerlies. Westerlies plays an important role in carrying warm equatorial waters and winds to the western coasts of continents. Westerlies impacts the ocean by creating the largest ocean current in the world called Antarctic Circumpolar Current. The current responsible for transporting nutrient-rich water, creating healthy marine ecosystems and food webs. I hope you are now more familiar with the term prevailing westerlies and understand it better. Thank you for listening, and have a nice day.